Hey guys, what's up? It's Miranda with another video and today I wanted to talk about something that's really important to me and hopefully by the end of the video it will be important to you guys as well. So today I wanted to talk about oxybenzone and octinoxate. So for those of you guys who do not know what that is, um, there are two chemicals that are typically found in sunscreens. They're two of the most popular chemicals used in sunscreens because they're super powerful. But the downside is that they're super harmful, not only to us, but to the environment around us. So, what or why are they so bad? Um, I recently just got educated on this about eight to nine months ago. And when I found out, I was like, oh my goodness, what have I been doing in my whole life? Like, I was super bummed out because I wish I knew about this a long time ago. So that's why I'm here, so I could spread the word and hopefully you guys will be like, oh my god, girl, I gotta switch up my sunscreens, right? So, here we go. So, if you guys get a sunscreen and it's labeled as natural, but it includes oxybenzone or octinoxate, it's not a natural sunscreen because those are not natural chemicals. So, the companies are essentially lying to you. And it sucks because you're buying this product and you're trusting the brand to give you the best but you just aren't aware and that's okay um so hopefully this will help enlighten you and educate you for future purchases so um these chemicals are super strong and they don't just wash away like once you take a shower they don't just leave your body like these chemicals they seep into your skin and can get into your bloodstream and can also cause reproductive and developmental problems later on in the future or when you have a kid or any or all that kind of stuff. So oxybenzone in particular is found in 80% of sunscreens and it's also found in 96% of Americans and that's like insane. That's crazy that all these chemicals are found in us and they just don't go away. What it does to the environment is really scary as well. Um, these chemicals are not biodegradable, which means um, they sit on the water surface or they attach to the coral reefs and um, all the animals that go to the surface like dolphins are affected, fish are affected, basically any animal that breaches or whatever, they're affected because all these chemicals right on the surface of the water where they're playing and where they're splashing and all that stuff and also it attaches to the coral reefs and it kills them and that's why the coral reefs are turning white because they're being bleached because they're dying and it's like scary to know that humans have been the cause of that because we have made this unnatural ingredient to protect us from the sun when there are other options um, like zinc oxide or what's the other one? Titanium dioxide. That one. Those two are the least amount of toxic, whereas oxybenzone and octinoxate are the most toxic chemicals. So there are alternatives. We just don't know about it. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, so a big, big misconception for these sunscreens are if I don't go to the beach, I'm okay, right? But that's false. Like, <laughs> you could be in the middle of the United States or any other country and be miles and miles and miles away from the beach, but as soon as you hop in the shower with the sunscreen on or wash your hands or wash your face that has sunscreen on, it's going into the drainage which leads to the water. So it goes into the ocean eventually and those toxic chemicals, they don't biodegrade, so it's not going to disappear. Which, I, like, I had that same misconception before I knew, of, like, when I first learned about oxybenzone, I was like, well, okay, when I go to the beach, I just won't wear sunscreen, but when I'm outside, I'll still wear the sunscreen because I'm not going to the beach. But then I educated myself, and I learned that, even if you don't go to the beach, these chemicals are still going to make its way. So, the leading cause, <clears throat> the leading export of these chemicals is from sewage. So, I'm going to show you a sunscreen that does contain toxic ingredients and one 
that does not. So the first one is a brand called Sunbum. And I loved this sunscreen so much. I thought it smelled so good and it protected me from the sun. But the only problem is that it does contain a toxic ingredient called avobenzone. And I don't really know if I pronounce that right. Oh, sorry. And there's another one called octocrylene. I'm not sure if I said that right either. And that's another toxic one. You guys can see the ingredients right up here. Those are the active ingredients. And... Um, I'll link in the description box below a list of all the toxic ingredients that you should avoid when buying sunscreens and also on their little chapstick it tastes super good smells really good their active ingredient is octinoxate you guys can see that yeah, right there so when I saw that, I was like super bummed out, like what am I going to do? So I had to sit down and research a bunch of reviews of different reef safe sunscreens and I found one that I really absolutely love and hopefully you guys try it. Um, it is called Tropic Sport um, and my main goal in finding a sunscreen was one that smells really good since Sunbomb smells really good. and. Tropic Sport, this scent is vanilla coconut, and oh my goodness, it smells so good. <laughs> and um, their, their base is titanium dioxide, if you guys could see that, right, come on, focus, right at the top over there, titanium dioxide is one of the least harmful ingredients. Um, or one of the least harmful chemicals so if you guys want to go check out that sunscreen i'll link that in this description box below as well as a couple other reef safe sunscreens that i know of so if you guys like this video or have any other questions um give it a like and hit that video with the subscribe and for all the questions or suggestions for other videos um, just leave it in the comment section below. Um, I'll look through them or DM me on Instagram or Twitter at Miranda underscore Galley. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was a little educational and hopefully you guys are inspired to go check out Reef Safe Sunscreens to save our little fishy friends and protect ourselves. So until next time, peace out guys.